Joe, it's time to get up. Come down and get some breakfast before school starts. Hey, dear, did you sleep good? Yeah, I guess so. Haha, <laughs> look at that little guy. Be sure to eat up, bud. It's always good to start your school day with a healthy breakfast. Uh, yeah. If you can take advice from anyone, Ben is the guy. He just scored a perfect score on his SAT. He is at the top of his high school class. Isn't that right, dear? That's right, sweetie. I am the smartest kid in the entire school. I know you are, big man. You should follow in his footsteps, Joe. I know you are only in middle school right now, but high school will sneak up on you before you know it. You are so lucky to have a positive role model like Ben in your life. Gross. Can you guys please not do that in front of me? It's weird. Come on, champ. You want your mom to be happy, right? Well, I make her happy. I am her knight in shining armor. Of course you are. This is so gross. Why do you have to be dating a high schooler? It's so weird. Come on now, dear. Me and Ben have been dating for almost a year. You should be used to it by now. And besides, the age of consent in this state is 16. We just checked with the court last night. Me and Ben are going to be official. That's correct. Me and your mother are so happy together. I complete her. It would sure be a shame if she didn't have her own son supporting her. Okay, boys, I gotta go to work. You boys be good and make sure you guys get to school on time. We will, dear. Okay, I love you guys. Have a great day at school. Love you, Mom. How does it feel? Your own mother is in love with the man you so despise. It must feel like shit. Just leave me alone. I can't wait for school. I'm coming down to the middle school today to help out some of the teachers since I'm the best high schooler in the world. I will be sure to pay you and your loser friends a visit. Screw you, Ben. Your mom already did that last night. Did you hear us? I, I made, made sure, sure that she was, was as loud as possible. possible. Gross. I don't want to hear about this. See you in school, loser. I cannot wait to shed my supreme dominance over you and your loser friends. I am so sick of Ben. It's bad enough that he makes our lives a living hell and bullies us, but he also has to be dating my mom. Ben is a fucking loser. We should prank him super hard. We can't. We will get in so much trouble. Chill out, guys. He started driving recently, so at least we won't have to ride the bus with him anymore. I just don't get it. He is literally in high school. I don't understand what my mom sees in him. If I'm being completely honest, I don't get what Ben sees in your mom. Shut up, Donald. We just need to keep our heads up. Don't worry, boys. We're going to be the new cool kids one day. I can feel it. We just need to find a way to show the kids at school that they are assholes. If we continue to be losers, I will never get to be with Hillary. Dude, you still have a crush on Hillary? She's such a bitch. <sighs> Shit, be cool, guys. Here comes the bus. All right, guys, I am done sitting in the front of the bus next to all the handicapped kids and the nerds. Let's go sit in the back where all the cool kids are. What are you guys doing? He's gonna kill you if you sit back there! It's okay, Jerry, we got this. Guys, maybe he's right. Maybe we should just sit here and get to school safely. I'm not gonna let those assholes determine where we sit. We should be allowed to sit wherever we want on the bus. Oh, jeez, this isn't gonna be pretty. The cool kids are gonna do something really bad. Please, guys, I don't wanna watch you guys get bullied. Quit being a little bitch. Come on, boys, let's do this. What the fuck are you guys doing? Oh, uh, what's up, Hillary? The back of the bus is only for the cool kids. You losers can't sit here. Out of our way, bitch. We can sit wherever we want. Uh, catch you later, Hillary. Maybe I'll see you in class. You guys are fucking idiots. Well, 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 if it isn't the three most pathetic jokes in the entire school. Screw you, Vlad. You don't own the bus. We can sit wherever we want. And today, we are sitting back here. In case you have forgotten, I am the coolest kid in our grade. I shall not allow three peasant losers to sit back here with me and my loyal minions. Yeah, you losers should leave. Vlad is super cool and amazing. I will defend him if you try anything. Yeah, Vlad is super cool and popular. Back off. You guys are the biggest dick riders I have ever seen. You just hang out with him so he won't bully you. You are a loser, bitch boy. Ha ha ha, that was so funny. This is what I'm saying. He is just so quick with it. Ha ha. I shall give you one last warning. 
Go sit with the handicapped kids or I shall exercise my dominance. Donald, I don't like this. Let's just give it up. Maybe Joe is right. This isn't worth it, Donald. Hmm, let me think about it. Yep, fuck you, Vlad. We're sitting here whether you like it or not. Very well. Let this be a lesson on all losers who seek to break the pyramid of balance and law. Ah, the spitball. A small piece of paper that is crumbled and then chewed using saliva, hence the name spitball. It is then used as ammunition through a straw to deliver pinpoint accuracy to whoever the target is. And when Vlad shoots a spitball, that can only mean one thing. Get it! Fire oh, you. Fuck you. Fuck you. This sucks. My shirt is all sticky. We should have just listened to them, Donald. Now we have to go through the entire day with apple juice in our pants. This is bullshit. Why does everyone think Vlad is so cool? All he does is treat everyone beneath him like garbage. Hey, guys. What's going on, George? You know, just the usual. The cool kids are just being dicks to everyone. Run! Hey, look, everyone. It's the human garbage disposal. Ha, ha, ha. Good one, Vlad. Ah, perfect. Oh, jeez. I don't want any problems, Vlad. No? Well, a world with no problems costs money. Yeah, give us your lunch money. What? But I need it! You already took my lunch money yesterday, and the day before. Mommy says I'm not eating enough! Lunch money now, or else we will put the human garbage where it belongs. Please, please, just leave me alone! Give Vlad your lunch money. He's the coolest kid in school. You have no choice. Time is running out. If your lunch money isn't in my hand in ten seconds, I will be forced to take matters into my own hands. Okay! Okay! Here's my money! Please just leave me alone! What? This is only three dollars. Yesterday you had six. That's all I have! That's all that mommy gave me! Oh man, you just pissed off the most popular kid in the school! True that. I would sure hate to be you right now. Please guys, please just let me be! I'm afraid we will have to put the trash where he belongs. Ah! I think someone puked in here! Ha ha ha! That was so <laughs> epic! There is no limit to how cool and amazing Vlad can be. Uh, hey, Hillary. Huh? Oh, hey, Joe. Hey, how are you? You doing okay? Uh, yeah, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. Oh, uh, great. Do you maybe want to go to the park with me later? Ha! Ah, look, everyone. Joe just asked out Hillary. No way. She's obviously going to reject him. What a loser. She is literally the most popular girl in school. No way she's going to go out with that loser. Yeah, uh, I don't think I can go today, Joe. Oh, I see. It's okay. I gotta go to class. Maybe I'll see you around, okay? See you later, Hillary. Okay, everyone. Let's get going to class. We don't want to be late now, do we? Who the fuck is that? That's the new principal. Today is his first day. Wow. I can't believe they finally got rid of the last one. Hey, fuckwads! I gotta mop the fucking floor! That means that you assholes gotta get to class! No way! He's a janitor now! Haha, <laughs> serves him right. That guy was an asshole. Keep your voice down, dumbass. He can still give us detentions. All right, come on. We better get to class. <laughs> oh my god! Are you fucking serious right now? My job is to keep this fucking school clean. And it makes my job way harder when little fuckwads like you are rummaging around in the fucking garbage and making a mess. Sir, I'm sorry, I can't get out, I'm stuck. Why the fuck are you in there in the first place? Vlad and his friends shoved me in here. Well, maybe you shouldn't have been a fucking loser. Vlad and his friends are good kids. Now get the fuck out of the trash can before I give you a fucking detention. Yo, did you guys do last night's math homework? What? We had math homework last night? Jesus Christ, are you guys serious right now? Yeah, Obama. I didn't have time. I was busy building my new Lego Hogwarts set. Now fuck off. Let me see the answers. What's the magic word? I said please already. Now come on, give me the fucking sheet. Chill out, bro. Calm down. The teacher could be here any minute. All right, Joe goes first, though. Oh my god, Joe is going to take centuries to copy it down. His handwriting hasn't changed since kindergarten. Thanks, Obama. Hey, what language is this? I can't read it. It's cursive, Joe. Good morning, class. Good, Good morning, morning, Miss Smith. Good morning, bitch. 
I expect you all did your homework last night. Now, let's see who's here. Ella. Here. George. Here. Max. Here. Donald. <laughs> Quiet. I have told you several times to take attendance seriously and not goof around. I'm here, bitch. Use your eyes. All right, that's it. I will be seeing you after class, young man. Now let's continue. Kim! Okay then, Kim is absent, I guess. Andrew. Okay, Kim and Andrew are missing. Where the fuck are those hooligans? They aren't absent. Okay, I got it. Those jocks are gonna pay for pissing inside of our book bags. Nice, let me see it. Wow, it's much bigger than I thought it would be. Amazing, isn't it? This liquid is ammonium sulfide. Once thrown, the thin glass vial will smash, and our antidote will wildly spread throughout the entire locker room. We're gonna make the entire place smell like shit. This is awesome. Hey, what are you wimps doing in the locker room? I think someone needs a wedgie. Haha, <laughs> yeah, let's give them wedgies. Crap, they found us. Come on, throw the stink bomb and let's make a run for it. Oh my god, that's horrible. What is that? I think I'm gonna vomit. Come on, don't let them get away. Time to show those wimps who's on top. Let's shove them in the toilet. This way. Come on, through here. You think they'll find us in here? Huh? What the? Where'd they go? Quiet. I think I hear them coming. Gah! Come here, you little cocksucker. Ah, holy shit. Come on, go, go, go. Ouch. Damn it, I'm stuck. Your ass is in my face, dog. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at them. Those giant apes can't fit through the vent. Ha <laughs> ha! Can't touch this, losers. <clears throat> There's losers in the locker room. Ew, get them away. Oh my god, gross. What are you guys doing in the girls' locker room? You are going to get in so much trouble after we tell on you. Us? What about you guys? Yeah, you'll get into just as much trouble. For your information, we were busy getting to first base. You losers cock blocked us. How come they let you guys in here? <laughs> <laughs> Is that really a question? I am one of the coolest kids in high school. And I am the coolest kid in middle school. What? I know you guys don't get it, since you guys are the most pathetic excuses of students that the school has ever seen. But cool and popular kids like us are especially popular amongst the ladies. Exactly. We are at the top of the food chain. Girls are only a luxury for top class students, not the pathetic losers at the bottom. Whatever. It's still against the rules. If you turn us in, you guys will be joining detention with us. Exactly. Let's just walk separate ways and pretend this never happened. I don't think so. We're going to turn you in and watch you rot in detention. Newsflash. The new principal isn't worshipping you guys like the old one did. I wish all of my well, students were like that. Good. I don't want to see the same time as boys and girls. Now you're looking up to. That won't matter. That won't matter. Everyone knows that we are the cool and good kids and that you guys are the loser bad kids. Exactly. You can literally go and ask any teacher who their favorite student is. I guarantee you several of them would pick me. That's crazy. You guys are delusional. You guys interrupted our time with the ladies. We are turning you in. Hang on, Ben. Before you turn them in, why don't you let us have some fun with them? Yeah! They let off a stink bomb in our locker room! You guys totally deserved it. You guys made me drink expired milk out of the garbage. Yeah, and you guys shoved an expo marker up my ass. Wow, it seems these losers are way out of line since they think it's okay to talk to cool kids like that. I suppose you guys may have your fun before we turn them into the office. Excellent. This will teach you little butt wipes to not mess with us. That's right, they were in the girls' locker room. And they were yelling at us. We were running from the jocks. Yeah, we didn't even mean to go to the girls' locker room. Unlike them, they went in on purpose. Okay, I've heard enough. It seems like Kim and Andrew aren't at fault here. Yes! Ha! What? Open your eyes, old man. You guys literally attacked them with markers. And you guys were in the girls' locker room doing God knows what. Sir, I think you should consider taking more time on this decision. I don't think so. Ben and Vlad, you guys are hereby receiving a detention for this afternoon. Come in. Sorry to interrupt, but I just came by to let you know that those two boys threw a giant stink bomb in the boys' locker room. And I had to take 20 minutes off from my lunch break to clean it up. Give those kids a fucking detention. Boys, is this true? <sighs> yes, it's true. Ha! Guess you guys will be joining detention with us. What? You gave Ben and Vlad detention? What fucking planet are you on, Bernie? Those are the best fucking kids you'll ever meet. 
They were in the girls' locker room, that's why. And I don't need your take on who and who not to punish. I know all four of these kids way more than you do. I have been working at this school for 30 fucking years. Perhaps you should sit down and consider the fact that, hey, maybe this guy knows a thing or two, instead of being an ignorant piece of shit. Listen, you are not the principal anymore. I may be new to this school, but I have been working in education since you were a little child. My word is final. All four of them will have detention. Whatever you say, boss. Hey, Miss Smith, just dropping these kiddos off. Holy shit, what happened to you guys? Ben, Vlad, and the jocks. That's what happened. I have told you a thousand times to not goof around in class, yet every day it keeps happening. What do you have to say for yourself, young man? It's not that big of a deal. Why don't you just learn to take a joke sometimes? I'm afraid it's not that simple. Oh, God, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be busy dick riding all the teachers and making them love you? You are in big trouble for your actions here today. Miss Smith has given me the permission to punish you accordingly. That is absolute bullshit. Quiet. Maybe you'll think twice before goofing off in my class next time. Whatever, bitch. I don't care. Wow, Miss Smith. It seems that this naughty loser child is way out of hand. He seems to have no respect for authority whatsoever. So it seems. Donald is definitely showing traits of oppositional defiant disorder. Indeed he is. I think you should give him double homework and give him extra tutoring to really make sure that he cuts it out. Good idea. We should also talk to his parents. We need to make sure that he gets the help he needs. He should report every day after school. Not to detention, but to extra math classes. It's definitely clear that this student isn't getting the help he needs. Extra school and medication is the only answer to such behaviors. Fuck you guys. Ben, I know I have said it before, but we as a school and faculty are truly blessed to have a student of your prosperous nature. You are truly a gift to this school and a highlight of what it truly means to work in the field of education. The honor is mine, Miss Smith. I will work hard to continue to be a beacon of light for all students who seek to undermine this school's law and order. Unbelievable. I don't get why every fucking teacher worships you, but you will pay for this one day, Ben. I am a supreme student, the best that ever was or will be. I am a glittering example of what it means to be a noble student and learner. I am the physical embodiment of the ideal and perfect student. You are nothing but scum from the bowels of the education system. We shall now use our fists of justice and put you in your place. Wow. I can't believe they were in the girls' locker room. I know. Not only that, but they were making out with them. That's so unfair. They are somehow so cool that the girls literally let them in the locker room. This is absolute bullshit. It's whatever, Donald. No, it's not whatever. This is serious. You guys should be mad. You guys should be furious. This has gone too far. Donald is right. I'm tired of the cool kids bullying us all of the time. They make our lives a living hell. Well, it doesn't matter. There's nothing we can do about it. Attention, everyone. Attention. Huh? What does he want? I know you guys have never done this before, but as the new principal, I am imposing a new school position. A new position? What the hell is he talking about? Here at this table, you can cast your name in to run for school president. The school president will be a lucky girl or boy that you guys, the students, collectively vote on. One of us could be the school president? School president? What even is that? The school president will have the special responsibility of representing the student base during times of school levies or financial decisions. Anyone can cast their name in as long as they are a middle schooler. That is all. School president, huh? That sounds interesting. I wonder who it will be. You hear that, boys? That's what we can do. One of us should become the school president. Are you serious? There's no way anyone would vote for any of us. We can convince them. We can convince them that the cool kids are evil. There's just one problem with that. Everyone thinks we are fucking losers. This is where you belong. You shall stay in here until I let you out. Tomorrow, I expect you to bring me $10 to make up for today's lack of funds. Ha ha! Yeah, maybe next time you'll be smarter and give Vlad more money. God, I love hanging out with the cool kids. It's so exciting. You're next, loser. Lunch money now. Please, please, I'll give you whatever you want. Just don't pull down my pants again. Come here, you little bastard. I need those science answers. I'm gonna fail and get grounded if I give you my answers again. I don't care. My success is more important than yours. I am on the football team. Haha, <laughs> loser. Get bodied, loser. Ouch, please don't hurt me. 
See this kid? I'm so much cooler than him. He is nothing, just a loser. I'm everyone's favorite student. Wow, Ben, you are so amazing. I wish I could be your girlfriend. Ugh, Stacy, he promised me we would get ice cream later. Look around. There are kids getting bullied everywhere. It's not just us. People would definitely vote for us. We're not the only ones who are sick of Ben, Vlad, Ping, and all the other cool kids. You know what? Maybe Donald is right. Maybe one of us can be the class president. He's totally right. You guys may not realize it, but there is way more of us than you think. Back in the days of ancient Rome, slaves made a giant part of the population. In the pyramid of Roman hierarchy, Roman slaves were at the bottom. They had essentially no rights and were essentially products owned by other Romans of higher social status. Slaves could be beaten, tortured, worked to death, sold to other Romans, or even get bullied by their masters. It was the worst life one could wish for back in those days. No offense, Kim, but what does this have to do with anything? It is said that one day, a proposal was once made to the Senate to make slaves at the time all wear the same color of clothing. That way, they would be easily identifiable out in public. However, after the Senate discussed the idea further, the idea was quickly dropped. They realized that if all of the slaves in Rome wore the same color, they would be able to easily distinguish one another. The Senate feared the slaves realizing their true numbers. If the slaves knew just how many of them there were, it could have led to a revolt of the masses, a revolution. One thing that the cool kids don't realize is that after years and years of keeping themselves at the top of the food chain, the vast majority of the rest of the students were left at the bottom, as losers. The cool kids stay cool by making all of the losers feel alone, like they are at odds, like they are outnumbered. They divide us. That's why everyone hates us and makes fun of us. Do they truly think we are losers? Or are they just trying to fit in and make sure that they follow the social structure that was built by the cool kids? To avoid being prey and sharing our fate as the biggest losers in the school. True. Plus, it's even harder considering the fact that no one would dare say anything bad about them. Well, if we do this, who should run for president? Yeah, only one of us should run so that we can put all of our focus into one candidate. Well, let's put it simply. No matter which one of us runs, someone is going to get offended. So, for entertainment purposes, I think we should pick randomly out of my fedora. When did you start wearing a fedora? Since now. What do you guys think? Fitting. Wow, just be honest, you guys don't like it. No one said that. But it's true. You guys are making it totally obvious. I think it looks nice. You can wear your hat, Kim. It looks fine. No, you guys hate it. I'm not gonna do it. It's all good. Everyone put your name in so we can pick someone to run for president. I think this is the fairest way to do this. Okay, everyone's name is in. I'll go ahead and pick one now. Well, who is it? It's Joe. Oh, shit. Oh. Uh... No, please, pick again. I don't want to do it. Why did you put your name in if you didn't want to do it, dumbass? I don't know. I guess I thought I had to. All right, whatever. Just pick again. Donald. Yes, I will totally do it. Let's do this, boys. We are going to make me president. And once I have the chair, we will have power and we will all rise to become the new cool kids. And after that, we will take down all of the bullies, everyone who made us eat out of the garbage, everyone who gave us wedgies, everyone who gave us purple nurples, everyone who took our lunch money or kicked us out of parties. We will make them pay. Great. Now we just need a plan. We need to find an excellent way to start our campaign. Something to get our tippy toes into the doors of political power. Good morning, students. Today we have a very cool and hip speaker coming to talk to you guys. Come on over, David. I'll let you introduce yourself. Good morning, North Middle School. <clears throat> My name is David, also known as Don't Do Drugs, David. Today we're going to talk about why you shouldn't do Percocet. Unless you get a back injury, that is. In that case, it's totally fine. 
but sometimes people will assume that you faked your back injury just to get Percocet. So for anyone that thinks that it's fake, we are going to be looking into what back injuries qualify to get Percocet. Six out of ten doctors would agree with the fact that he's... All right, this is already getting pretty boring. Are you guys ready? Yeah, we're ready. Let's get this show on the road. Kim, you ready? Mmm, definitely Reddit moderators. This should do the trick. Oh my god, what's that smell? I can't take it. I gotta get out of here. Worked like a charm. All right, I'm in. You ready, Donald? Let's do this, boys. All right, kids, time for me and your principal to do a dance. We call this one the Druggy Duggy Shuffle. This one goes out to my ex-wife, who thought I was faking my anxiety to get painkillers. What's going on? I can't see anything. Thank God we didn't have to see that. Crap, I think the power went out. We gotta go fix it. Hello, everyone. My name is Donald. Oh, God, not this guy. What is that loser doing? Get off the stage, loser! I ask you all to support my bid for the school president. What? Is he being serious? Who would vote for that loser? Listen, we may not want to admit it, but we are all oppressed by those who call themselves the cool kids. We have suffered long enough! How many times has your lunch money been stolen? How many times have you been shoved into a locker or trash can? How many times have you been dunked into the toilet? How many times was your homework or project stolen? How many times have you gotten a purple nurple? How many times have the cool kids stolen your girlfriend? Everyone! How many times have you been constantly reminded that they are cool and you are a loser? I, for one, am done with all of this. Make me the school president. We will put an end to this madness. We will make this an equal school for all. No more will we get in trouble and take the blame for stuff that the cool kids did. No more will we have our girlfriends stolen. No more will these assholes dominate every single extracurricular activity. No more will you be called a loser every single day. Vote for me to be school president. We will work together and get revenge on the cool kids. He's right. The cool kids must be stopped. Maybe Donald isn't so bad. I will vote for Donald. Wow. It... It worked! Look at them. They love him. And just like that, with the words of hope and revenge pouring out of Donald's mouth, the school rejoiced. It was realized that the losers were not alone in their way of thinking. They were able to come together with terms of a common enemy. However, this was just the beginning. Lo and behold, we had no idea what was going on behind closed doors. To put it simply, he is not focused enough on dominating the school. It seems his concerns lie elsewhere. Girls, parties, public popularity, and all other perks that come with being a student of high social status. His priorities are not focused enough towards dominating the entire school district. You will be his replacement. Ben is not suitable to bear the crown. I am honored, Master Ping. For now, you stand by Ben's side, as my apprentice. Together, the three of us will make sure to keep our pyramid intact, and make sure that the losers stay at the bottom. Yes, Master. Ben shall not know anything of the words we have broken here. I shall be as quiet as the Midnight Forest, Master. You called for me, Master? Yes. You are excused, Simon. Who was that? His name is Simon. He's a foreign exchange student from England. What is he doing here? He has recently been making a name for himself amongst the sea of school popularity. He's been pantsing losers every day this week, and he holds the record for the highest body count in the high school. He will be joining your side as another one of my apprentices. Does that bother you? No, master. He is cool. Perhaps even cool enough to be king of the high school one day. What? But, but master, I- Ben, I'm, I'm king, king of the high school. school. But one day, I will graduate. 
I must find someone capable of being the king of the high school and keeping the losers in their place. Master, I'm capable of such a position. Are you? We will see. My decision is not final. I am simply considering all of my options. Prove yourself to me. Show me that you are the most worthy of being king of the high school once I graduate. Do as I command, and we will see if you are truly worthy. Yes, Master. Master, we have urgent news to tell you. This is going much better than expected. So many people have already announced that they are voting for us. For real? I haven't even been bullied since that happened. This is awesome. I can't wait to finally enjoy a lunch where I'm not forced to eat out of the garbage. Kim is enjoying two lunches today. No one took my lunch money this morning, and I still have my reserve lunch for when that normally happens. We are dining good today, boys. The first normal lunch we've had since fourth grade. Next! And would you look at that? As if this day couldn't get any better, it's Cupcake Wednesday. Just in time, too. There's only three left. I call the red one. Don't take the red one, Kim. I call the blue one. Next! This line has to get moving. I've only had three smoke breaks today. I will take the purple one. Here! Now kick rocks! Next! Do you guys have any more cupcakes back there? I want to get a yellow one. Those cupcakes back there only expired two weeks ago. They are for next Wednesday. Please, oh, please, can I get a yellow one? Are you fucking kidding me? Like I'm gonna do you any favors. The janitor had to take 15 minutes to clean up the urinals you guys destroyed this morning. It's called art. Yeah? Well, art isn't supposed to have living things making a habitat out of our bathrooms. Whatever, just give me the blue one, I guess. Next! What up, bitch? I'll take the red one. Hey, Edna. I'll have that red cupcake, please. Oh, hey there, Simon. Good to see you in the middle school today. It's my pleasure. I have always wanted to come down and help out and be a positive role model on these yeah, middle yeah, schools. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Shut up. I was next in line, pal. That red cupcake is mine. I called it. And you must be Donald. Pleasure to meet you. Whatever. Nice to meet you. Now fuck off and get behind me. Oh? I'm afraid you're confused. You see, cool big kid high schoolers like me have the privilege of cutting in the lunch line. That is bullshit. I called dibs, and I was here first. Here you go, Simon. What? Are you fucking serious right now? All right, that's the last of the food. I'll see you later, Simon. I gotta go smoke a camel and kill tomorrow's lunch. Give me that fucking cupcake. You stole it from me. I was next in line. Don't worry, Donald. Since I am cool and I'm a responsible big kid, I will give you a fair portion of this cupcake for a man of your social status. You may chew on the parchment. Be grateful. That is a lot more than a student of your standing deserves. This is the best day ever. I really feel like I can finally be myself. It's amazing. This is the greatest day we have had this year. Hey, wait a minute. Where's Joe at? He went to go get his lunch. Have you guys met that Simon guy? He's a fucking prick. Who? Who the hell is Simon? Just some lame-ass high schooler. He's probably friends with Ben and Ping. He stole the last cupcake, even though I was there first, and I called dibs. Fear not, Donald. He will pay. Don't let him bring you down. Yeah, look at how much extra food we have. Donald, today none of us lost our lunch money. Or our lunch. Or our spare lunch. Damn, we do got a lot of food. Hey guys, I have an awesome idea. Oh God, I already know what he's talking about. Let's do it. Yes, I go first. I'm gonna put ketchup on this peanut butter sandwich. Delicious. Gross. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> no way. Disgusting. You see this chocolate milk? What if I put mustard and tomato soup in it? Ooh. Gross, you did not just do that. Haha, <laughs> good oh one. Oh my God, that is vile. I call next. This pizza looks delicious. I think I'm gonna smother it with jelly and Skittles. No way. That's the best one so far. My turn. Look at this yummy burrito. I'm gonna unwrap it and put this Twinkie inside of it. Gross! 
I can't believe you just did that. That's one for the books. Okay, my turn, my turn. This ham sandwich looks amazing. How about we put marshmallows in it? Weak. Now I'm gonna put gravy into this chocolate milk and then drench the sandwich in it. Jeez, that's just absurd. There is no way you're gonna eat that. Now I'm gonna take this cup and make a mixture of Italian dressing and cherry Kool-Aid. Gross, gross, gross. No way he's gonna drink that. You're right, Andrew. I'm not gonna drink it. I'm gonna pour it onto the sandwich and eat it. No way, I dare you. He ain't gonna eat that. Go on, Obama. Eat it, you don't have the guts. I will literally vomit if he eats that. Watch and learn, boys. Oh my God. Okay, there's no topping that. Ha, huh, no way, that's grotesque. Yup, Obama wins, GG. And that is how you make a ham sandwich. Oh, hey, Joe, what's going on? It's amazing, isn't it? There is no bullying at all today. I have never felt so free. Yeah, that speech that Donald made was pretty impressive. It, it seems that the school really supports you guys. Yeah, it's awesome. So, how do you feel about it? I mean, you're the most popular girl in school. You're friends with the cool kids. Does all this bother you? I don't know. I sort of just feel stuck in the middle of everything, you know? I'm sure that being a loser is hard, and getting bullied every day probably sucks. But people don't realize being a cool and popular kid can be hard too. I always have to maintain my reputation and watch who I talk to if I want to stay popular. It's like I always have to put up a front. I can never just be myself. Yeah, I guess I can see how that's hard. Yeah, I, I know it seems crazy. I mean, I'm literally talking to someone who gets bullied every day, but being popular and cool isn't all that great either. Hillary, don't you get it? If Donald becomes the school president, all of that will end. There will be no more cool kids. There will be no more bullying. Everyone will finally be equal. I get it, Joe. But I don't think you realize what you guys have done. What do you mean? Listen, Joe. I know it seems like you guys are doing the right thing and making a difference. But in reality, you guys don't have a chance. That's not true. Everyone loves us now. Several people are going to vote for us. So far, Donald is the only person who is even running. So, of course, a lot of the students love him. A lot of kids get bullied every day by the popular kids, and you guys gave them hope. But do you really think the cool kids are just going to sit back and let all of this happen? I don't get it. What are you getting at? Look, I shouldn't be telling you this. I mean, according to my social status and my role, I shouldn't even be talking to you. But you guys are in danger. They are planning something big. They are fully aware of the situation and will do almost anything to stay on top of the social pyramid. Hang on a second. We need to back up a little bit. This day was a little too perfect. Pour it onto the sandwich and eat it. Peanut butter sandwich. Be grateful. Does that bother you? Get revenge on the cool kids. I guess we should have seen this coming. Master, we have urgent news to tell you. Oh? It's Donald. Him and his friends hijacked the assembly. He announced that he is running for school president. He claims to put a vendetta on all of the cool kids and the CCP. Gather the council of cool kids. We need to have an emergency meeting. Wow! I can't believe my eyes. It's really him, Ping. The coolest kid in high school. Words cannot truly describe how honored I am to merely be in the same room as you. Indeed. We are truly blessed to even be allowed to breathe the same air as you. Calm yourself. What did you see today at the school assembly? Well, it was crazy. The assembly was going on, but then suddenly it was hijacked. Donald started talking and asking everyone to vote for him to be the school president. School president? Since when did such a position come to existence? It was announced yesterday. The new principal said that the class president will represent the student body and will have a say when it comes to financial school decisions and political decisions like school levies and such with the school board. And the worst part, Donald announced that he is going to put an end to the cool kids once he takes the chair. Seems like quite a powerful position. It would sure be a shame if we allowed a loser with very low social status to acquire such a title. This is 
Bullshit! When I was principal, I would have never allowed such a thing to happen! Bernie is a fucking crackhead! If we don't do anything, then those naughty fucking loser kids will take control! And every ounce of law and order and safety will be thrown out the damn window! Perhaps we should fight fire with fire. One of us should run for school president. I believe that if I put my name in, we could start a campaign and easily overtake them. After all, I have the highest body count in the high school, and I have a lot of renown. This is true. Everyone loves foreign exchange students. Perhaps Simon should run for school president. Master, perhaps we should consider all of our options. Every girl in the middle school wants to be my girlfriend. If I ran for school president, I guarantee I could pull all of the female votes, which is the majority of the school. And also, I am every teacher's favorite student. They would probably be willing to support my bid for the school president. Yes, I see. It seems Ben would also make for an excellent candidate. However, we should only choose one so that we can get as much votes as possible. We shall now take a council vote between Ben and Simon, who is best fit to represent the student body and terminate any chance of the losers taking control. Wait! I'm afraid it isn't that simple. The principal made a rule that breaks this plan in half. With all due respect, sire. It's true. He claimed that since the class president will represent the middle school body of students, only a middle schooler is eligible for the position. I am captain of the middle school football team. I represent all of the cool kid jocks. I think I could be an excellent candidate to run for class president. I could also run. I'm the coolest kid in the middle school. I've kissed the most girls in the middle school, and thanks to the losers, I have the best grades. Perhaps I should be the president. Yes, it seems you are both excellent options. There is also Hillary. Hillary, do you wish to consider yourself for the position of the middle school president? Geez, uh, I don't know. She would be an excellent candidate, especially considering that Joe has a massive crush on her. It could drastically hinder their campaign. I, I just, I don't know if I want to do this. Hillary. You are the most popular girl in the middle school. With great power and social status comes great responsibility. Whether you run or not, I want to be sure that you understand your role and that it is your sworn duty to shit on the losers at any given chance. Of course, I know that. Well, I saw you talking with Joe yesterday. Do you have anything you want to tell us about that? Uh, no. Let it be known that if anything were to happen between you and Joe, it would greatly increase the chance of the losers taking the chair. Gross. Are you seriously saying that I would do anything with him? He is a pathetic loser. I would never go out with him. Good. I'm glad you still have your senses. We shall find you a boyfriend of cool kid nobility. When you are ready. Cool! So are we agreed then? I will run for school president and date Hillary so that their campaign is one shot. After that, everything will go back to normal and we will continue to dominate everyone. Personally, I think Vlad is the best option. No offense, Damon. He is just such a great kid. Teachers and students alike would agree that he is the coolest and best kid in the middle school. I think I must agree. Don't get me wrong, Damon. You have done well for yourself in the social arena, but I think Vlad is our best option. Whatever you say, Ping, you are widely known by everyone as the coolest and best student in the entire school district. That's why you are king. Your word is law. Very well. I shall run for the position of middle school president. The losers will be sorry for trying to flip the pyramid that we worked so hard to build. Excellent. We shall now discuss our plan to begin our ultimate campaign and keep those losers in their place until the day they graduate. Whatever it is, we will be okay. We will stick together and pull through. Hillary, it doesn't have to be like this. Who cares about popularity or being cool? I really wish it was that simple, Joe, but it just isn't. There is way more at stake than you realize. Hillary, I like you. I like you a lot. And I have a feeling that you like me too, but you can never show it since you are the most popular girl at school and I'm just a loser. Doesn't that bother you? What's the point of being cool and popular if you can't even be yourself and do what you want to do? The point of being cool and popular is to socially dominate everyone in your path. To have any girl you want. To be a glittering leader to every loser who could only dream of such a position. What? Who are you? I am Simon. I am a foreign exchange student from England, and I am one of the most popular kids in the school. Not only do all of the teachers and faculty love me, but the girls love me too. 
I have the highest body count in the school by a mile. What's wrong? Does it make you nervous being in the presence of someone so amazing and awesome? No, I'm not nervous at all. You guys are going to pay for bullying us every day. Just wait and see. Ha ha ha. Your ignorance is amusing. You're a loser, and you always shall be. You and your kind shall be dealt with soon enough. But for now, me and Hillary have somewhere to be. After all, she will be my girlfriend one day soon. What? You're crazy. She would never go out with a guy like you. I believe you have that backwards. I am cool and amazing, and you are a pathetic nobody. You are the one that she will never court. You're at the bottom, and always will be. Hillary is the most popular girl in the middle school. She can only be with someone who is of worth. Not some loser scum who wets the bed and gets no girls. Hillary will be mine. That's not true. Just wait and see. Well, let's hear what Hillary has to say about this. What are your thoughts, Hillary? Would you ever go out with this peasant nobody? No, I would never go out with Joe. He is a loser. Ha <laughs> ha, <laughs> yes, just as I presumed. Now, if you'll excuse us, me and Hillary have some cool kid business to attend to. Do not follow us. Peasant. Forced to maintain her reputation, Hillary leaves the scene. Although tensions were rising, one thing was true. After Donald's chilling speech at the assembly, no cool kids dared to bully any of the losers that day. It was the first normal day of school that any of them had experienced in ages. The losers, for once, got to enjoy their own lunch. No trays being knocked out of their hands, no being forced to eat out of the garbage, no milk being poured on their heads. It was the best day they had in ages. The joy of peace spread even beyond the cafeteria, in the hallways. No one was getting shoved into lockers or trash cans. No one was getting book checked. Bathrooms were free to use and could be used safely without any of the cool kids raiding the stalls and taking the toilet paper. And no one was getting their heads dunked into the toilets. It was a small and glorious taste of peace and prosperity at the school that day. However, like all things that are good, they cannot last forever. So why exactly did you take me out here? Are we even allowed to be outside right now? Pleasant, isn't it? Cool big kids like me have the privilege of venturing outside of school doors as long as we stay on the property. Are you enjoying the fresh air? Yeah, it's pretty nice. This is just one of many perks of being a cool big kid high schooler. Such perks could be yours as well by agreeing to be my girlfriend. Gross. No thanks. Are you being serious right now? Hillary, do you really think I have interest in you? I don't. However, I do have interest in the title you carry. My title? Yes. You are the most popular girl in the entire middle school, and I am one of the coolest kids in the high school. It would only make sense for the two of us to be together. We are both of high social status. I have the highest body count in the high school. I have good grades. I am good-looking and I am super popular. The only thing I don't have is the most popular girl in the middle school by my side. As my girlfriend. If we are together, it will solidify my position. And yours, too. When I become king of the high school. Wow, what do we have here? It seems that someone is going to get into huge trouble for being outside during school hours. Amusing. It seems that the king's little jester has come to embarrass himself. Did you forget who you were talking to? The principal himself has given me the privilege of leaving the school doors during school hours. Perhaps you can, but I wonder how the principal would feel if he knew that a big responsible high schooler took it upon himself to take a middle schooler outside where she could easily get kidnapped or robbed. No such thing would happen. I am widely known as a responsible beacon of light to all students beneath me, including you. Ha, that is laughable. I am way cooler than you. I will be next in line to be king of the high school, and after that, you will forever have to answer to me, your master. You truly think that you still have a standing chance of becoming the king? After what you and Vlad pulled in the girls' locker room? 
How can one be the king of the high school when he has little to no respect from the school faculty? I have yet to stain my record with such irresponsible behavior. So you think that the faculty loves you, huh? Let's see how they feel when they figure out what the term body count actually means. Once they find out that you are nothing more than a grimy fuckboy, I'm sure that their respect for you will quickly hinder. Hillary will be my girlfriend, and I will become the king of the high school. Wait a second, Ben, aren't you engaged? That doesn't matter, baby. School politics and home life are two separate things. I am only engaged with Joe's mom because he is a loser, and I find it amusing. You are nothing but scum. Your childish, narcissistic behavior. Your annoying voice. And the worst part, your less than favorable history. That's right. Drink it up, smartass. Someone help! No one is coming to help you. You're the biggest loser this school has ever seen. This is gross, please. Please stop it. How does it feel? Knowing that you are the biggest loser in the entire school. Please, stop this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry! You are the smartest kid in school. And since I am the coolest kid in school, that means you have to do my bidding. Maybe next time you'll think twice before doing my science project and tainting my name by only getting an A minus. Ah. Yes, that's right. I've been told about your past, where you came from. You may have some semblance of popularity nowadays, but you were born as a loser. Beaten and bullied, right until the day that Master Ping took you in as his apprentice. You are unworthy of being king of the high school with the unfavorable background you have as a loser. You're making a fool of yourself, mate. Go home, get rest, you'll need it for tomorrow. This is so much fun! <laughs> That's right. If I use just the correct amount of monkey pheromones, I can make perfume that is irresistible to any female. Wow, Kim. That's awesome. That's awesome, Kim. Here I come. I'm gonna get ya. Haha. <laughs> we'll see about that. Wow, everything is so peaceful. You said it. Is this what normal schools are like? Come on, guys, there's some girls over there, and for some reason I'm feeling like we should go talk to them. Haha, <laughs> okay, you go in first, though. What? No way! Seriously, it was your idea, Donald. Well, I can't just go over there. We all have to go over there. Fine, but you have to make the first move. You have to be the first one to say something. No fucking way! It was your idea, Donald. Hey, look, Donald, Elizabeth is staring at you. No way. You should totally go talk to her, Donald. No fucking way! I don't know what to say! Just go say hi. Hi. Are you serious? Come on, Donald. Just go say hi to her. What's the worst that could happen? I don't know, guys. Maybe this isn't a good idea. What if she has cooties? What if she thinks I'm ugly? Well, I'm not going to talk to her. Well, someone should do it. Fine. Why don't you go talk to her then? I'm not going to do it. It was your idea. Oh, God. Now she's with her friends. Now I definitely don't want to do it. Well, darn. I guess you waited too long. All right. This is dumb. Donald. I dare you to go talk to them. No, fuck you, I'm not doing it. All right then. I double dog dare you to go talk to those girls. Fuck you, George, I'm not talking to them, it's not worth it. All right, you've made me do this. Don't do it, George. I triple dog dare you. Fuck you, George. Fine, I'll go talk to them since you guys are a bunch of pussies. Whoops! Looks like we had a bit of an accident. 
Fuck you guys, that was totally on purpose. Now I have chocolate milk all over me. Oh no, once that milk dries up, Donald is gonna smell terrible. Don't worry, Donald already smells like feces. If anything, maybe this will help him. Uh oh, I smell trouble. That's weird, normally those guys hang out with Vlad. I don't see him anywhere. What are you guys even doing here? Shouldn't you be busy writing poems about Vlad and doing his homework? Unfortunately, we do not currently have the pleasure of being in Vlad's exuberant company. Yep, so we're just doing his job of ruining your day. Yeah, you pissed off the cool kids big time. Someone has to teach you a lesson. And I guess today we get to fill in the shoes of the cool big kids. Yeah, this is so fun and awesome. I hope we get to be cool kids one day. You guys will never be cool kids. You spend all day sucking Vlad's dick, so why would he ever want that to change? And plus, once I become school president, you guys will pay for bullying us all the time. Oh yeah? Well, you're a fat little bitch. That's why the cool kids always bully you. Loser. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Yeah, maybe if you started to worship the cool kids like we do, you would never get bullied. Come on, Donald, it's not worth it. Let's go, this will only lead to trouble. Yeah, come on, Donald, let's get out of here. Yeah, you guys should leave. The bathrooms are free to use right now. Maybe you guys can go into the stalls and make out with each other. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you guys, eat this! Gah! All right, let's do this. I don't like this, I don't like this, let's just leave. Ouch! All right, if that's how you want to play it, we have no choice. Oh, oh God, I'm gonna go get the principal. You guys are pathetic. Donald will never be the president, and you guys will be losers forever. Hey, look, over there. What's happening? Take this hot dog and shove it up your ass. <gasps> Donald is in a food fight. Aren't those the guys that are always hanging out with Vlad? Let's get them. Hey, everyone, food fight. What the hell? What's happening? Where are we going? This is crazy. This is an all-out war. Come on, there's some pizza over here with gluten in it. Let's throw it at Trent. Ah, it burns, it burns. Gah, that's it, you're dead, Kim. I'm out of juice. I have a bunch of yogurts and pizza rolls ready to reload. Hurry, Russell is coming this way. Copy that, banana peel. Ugh. Direct hit. He's back up. Reloading. Who are you guys? What's happening? Ben? You're one of Donald's best friends. And for that reason, you are going to publicly announce that Donald should not be president. Screw you, Ben. I will do no such thing. You will. Or else I will resort to extreme measures. You will do this. Or else. Or else what? Screw you, Ben. I'm not going to do anything you say. You've been a dick to me ever since my first day. Ping. It seems that our prisoner is not tamed yet. Perhaps you should persuade him. Yes, master. Where the hell is George at? On your six, we got Simon coming in. Oh, hell nah. This one's mine. Ugh. Damn, good one. Guys, look, Jerry is in trouble. Haha, <laughs> okay, fine. Headshots are three points. Ha, let's go. Oh no, not again. Ow! Ha, now I'm in the lead. Come on, we gotta get moving. Make a run for it. There they are. I will ask again. You will come to the cafeteria and publicly announce that Donald should not be the school president and that you will vote for Vlad. Never. Put him back in. Yes, master. Oh, gross. Keep him in there. Yes, master. Give it another flush. This is terrible. The poop marks are starting to come loose. Bring him up. Quite the fool you look right now, drinking out of the toilet like a dog. Perhaps you should comply and end this misery. Accept it. Donald is going to be the school president, and then you guys will never be able to get away with this kind of stuff ever again. Put him in. Perhaps it's time you learn to listen to your superiors. The lunch period is almost over. We must have him ready before it ends. 
You guys started this mess. It would sure be a shame if you guys left so soon. Exactly. Come finish what you started. Ouch! No, Obamna! Screw you guys! You have tainted my good name long enough. Eat this! There's nothing we can do. We're outnumbered. Uh, no! What good are numbers when you have a slingshot? Let's see here. What's four minus two? Ouch. Fuck! Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that the student handbook says that you guys can't bring fucking weapons to school! God damn it! I will be taking these from you hooligans, and then you two are gonna have detention until the sun fucking explodes! Crap! This is bullshit! That's right. Sit there in agony. The game is over. Put him in again. 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 Master, I can't do it anymore. Oh? Uh, because... Because my arm hurts. And the lunch period ends in three minutes. This isn't working. You're right. This isn't working. However, the threat of Cool Kid Prophecy is at risk. The very pyramid that the cool kids over many generations of this school have worked so hard to build is crumbling around us as we speak. George is a loser. He is nothing. If he refuses to comply, then I expect you to do what is necessary to follow through with our plan. Master, there must be another way. I don't want to do this. I sense something in you. You have fear. Perhaps I was wrong to take you in that day. A true cool kid would have no problem doing what is necessary to protect our popular way of life. Yes, Master. Donald? Donald? Wow, that watermelon must have hit you very hard. It seems you were knocked out cold. I just wanted to make sure you were conscious so you could witness what's about to happen. Watch, as your campaign for school presidency crashes in front of your very own eyes. Look around. A cafeteria completely destroyed. All because of what Donald started. Is this what you want lunch to be like? If Donald becomes the school president, how long before the hallways are filled with danger and despair? How long until you get another watermelon thrown at your head? Man, I guess he's kind of right about that. His friend let off a stink bomb in our locker room. Get off the stage! The cool kids are stupid! Donald should be the school president! Well, if you can't take it from me, perhaps you can take it from Donald's friend. Moments ago, George tried to attack Master Ping while he was in the bathroom. Luckily, our king is no weakling and would never fall to a pathetic loser. Wow, it's Ping, the king of the high school! George tried to attack Ping? Why would he do such a thing? there is no limit to what Donald and his friends will do to become popular. Their entire campaign is completely based around invigorating their own social status. They have absolutely no intention of making the school a better place. Vote for me to be school president. Together we will take down Donald and his friends and make sure that you won't be next.
It's been a week since Vlad announced his run for school presidency. The school has never been so tense. It seems that the school was divided right down the middle. Some students are tired of the cool kids and all of their lunacy and want revenge. While other students feel as if they should just accept their position rather than revolt. They wanted to be safe. With the election date right around the corner, one thing was clear. The race was far from over. Both sides are eager to take whatever advantage they can get. Whether it was in the school or outside. Okay, listen closely. This is what I want you to do. I want you to go ask Lauren what she would say if I were to ask her on a date. Okay, fine. No, wait, hold on a second. I want you to practice with me what you're gonna say. Are you being serious? Yes, don't say anything weird. I'm just gonna say what you told me to say. <laughs> hey! You, loser alert! Hey, shut up. I don't talk to losers, they're smelly. And normally I don't talk to zeros, but here I am. Kim wants to know what you would say if he asked you out. And? What did she say? She's not worth it, bro. Ha <laughs> Okay, you guys want to play pretend army? No, we did that yesterday. Let's go chase the girls. Joe, are you fucking serious? We aren't in preschool anymore. Jesus Christ. Fine, Donald. What do you want to do? I'm glad you asked. Let's go play soccer. Haha, <laughs> okay. Ooh, yeah. Let's do that. Okay, I'll be a team captain. What? That's no fair. You were a team captain last time. Yeah, that's true. Come to think of it, there's never been a time when we have played soccer and you weren't team captain. Fine, whatever, as long as I don't have to be on Joe's team. Hey, what? Why not? Because every time you get the ball, you lose it after two touches. Hey, that's not true. Well, I don't want to play unless I get to be a team captain. Jesus Christ, fine, you can be a team captain. Ha ha! Yes, looks like I won't be on Joe's team. Okay, I'll be the other team captain, I guess. Okay, sure. Let's rock, paper, scissors for first pick. Ha! You're on. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Fuck! I pick Obama. God damn it! I don't understand. You did what you had to do. Nothing more, nothing less. I don't understand why it was necessary. If you have a problem with inflicting harm on those who are beneath us, then I think you are in the wrong room. You will understand everything soon enough. Master, great news has arrived. Yes, the school board is starting to lose trust in Bernie. Indeed. We bumped into one of the chair members this morning. They are starting to doubt his abilities as principal of this school thanks to the food fight last week. What kind of principal allows a giant food riot to break loose? My child got smacked in the face with a hot dog! She could have died! I'm on the phone with my lawyers right now! I could get your ass sued for child neglect! Please, everyone, I promise everything will be okay. Right! Like that one kid who got attacked! You're lucky he was able to defend himself, otherwise you'd be in jail. What's this my kid is saying about school presidents? And getting revenge on the cool kids? What kind of curriculum are you guys teaching? What are you teaching, my child? It seems you have no control over those bad kids. Donald and his friends have always been troublesome, but now it's spreading onto our kids. I heard that he gave detention to a high schooler. He can't even do that! Because of recent events, the parents want him gone from the principal's chair. It seems that Bernie may soon fall. We must not celebrate too soon. We have another enemy to worry about first. We need to take every opportunity to squander their campaign and persuade the students that the cool kids should remain in control at any given chance. We must take action to persuade the public eye and make them know that Donald and his friends are unpopular losers and do not have what it takes to safely have power. And it seems an opportunity has struck. All right, are you guys ready? Yippee, let's play. Hey, dumbass, you're standing on their side of the field. Whoops. All right, I have Joe on my team. That's a massive disadvantage. We should start with the ball. All right, fine, Donald, here's the ball. 
All right, let's play. All right, Joe, go down the field. I'll pass it to you. Every time you say that, you never pass it to me. You just shoot for goal. God damn it, Joe. I'll pass it to you if you don't stand right by the fucking opponents. Yay, okay. Here, Donald, I'm open. Yes, I got it. God damn it, Joe. Sorry. All right, George, here. Here I come. Shit. Yes, let's go. Hell yeah. All right, screw this. Out of my way, Joe. I'm going all the way this time. Wow, Donald. I knew you were weak, but that kick was so weak that I barely had to move to catch it. Screw you, Ben. What are you even doing here? I'm pretty sure Miss Smith needs someone to sweep her floor. Don't mind me. I am just busy keeping law and order intact. It is my duty as a top-notch supreme big kid high schooler. I came over here because I thought something bad was happening. I thought someone was hurt. I thought someone needed an ambulance. But then I realized that all I was seeing was super fat Donald participating in a sport. I never thought I'd see the day. Fuck off, Ben. No one wants you here. With that attitude, it's no wonder that you are struggling to succeed in the classes that I effortlessly completed four years ago. Screw you, Ben. My eye still hurts from when you punched me. George, those are simply the consequences of trying to take down a dominant power that reaches far beyond your understanding. Just leave, Ben. We are just trying to have a good time and play soccer. Just having a good time, huh? Well, that may be true for you and George. But Donald is sweating like he's never been outside before. And I don't think Joe even knows the rules. How can you call that fun, Obamna? You think preying on those beneath you is fun? Well, perhaps we have more in common than you think. Hey, that's not true. I know all of the rules. Joe, you don't even have your shoes on the correct feet. It is clear that these underlings don't know how to play at all. Perhaps we could teach them. Oh, right, like some gay European kid is going to teach us how to play soccer. Soccer? What is this? I rest my case. You see, Don, back home in England, there is no soccer. It's called football. What? How did he do that? Impossible. He scored from all the way down here. Wow. I've only ever seen that happen on YouTube. All right. Looks to me like you want a challenge. Well, you're on, buddy. Oh, are you sure? It would really be a shame if I were to accidentally hurt you. Hey, now, if the peasants want to see what a dominant force looks like, then perhaps we could oblige. Indeed, it would make the common rabble feel happy and safe if they knew just how dominant those of high social status truly are. It's just talk. All talk, no action. Huh? Huh? What? Every damn day. It's all we hear from you guys. We are superior. We are cool big kids. We are so much better than you. You guys are peasants. Blah, 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 blah. If you guys are so much better than us, time to shut your mouths and show us. Wow, Obama, so quick to the challenge without doing any critical thinking first. That's not like you. Perhaps he has been hanging around Donald too much. I'm hearing a lot of yip-yapping, but all I'm seeing is three losers who don't want to play against us. <laughs> Very well. Looks like we're gonna need a fourth teammate. Why don't you guys go get your big power, Daddy? Ha! Huh, good one, Joe. Master Ping is unavailable at the moment. I'm afraid we will need someone else. Well, look what we have here! That's right! I've been watching you fools this whole time! You guys are being very rude to the big cool kid high schoolers and Vlad! I will be their fourth teammate, so that you four little fucktards can be taught a lesson! No way, he's a grown-up. Oh man, he's gonna mop the floor with us. He's like five times our size. You're an old man. You'll probably have a heart attack two minutes in. I am a grown-up. Although I may not have the energy of a young middle school boy, I have power beyond your underdeveloped imagination. Hiya! All right, let's do this. And so it began. The rivalry between the two sides was bigger than any ever before seen at this school. As the crowd grew bigger and bigger, the two teams started to realize something. All of them knew what it was. Donald knew it. Ben knew it. Vlad knew it. Even Joe knew it. With the election date being this close, this public display will surely decide who wins the school presidency. 
All right, rock, paper, scissors for who gets to start with the ball. Actually, we will be starting with the ball because we want to. Sucks to suck. Agreed. Let's see if they can do anything about this play. Ben. I got him covered. Go cover the grown-up. I'm on it. Ha! You really think one kid is going to cover me? You'll need at least three! Here. I totally got this. I'm almost double these kids' height. They don't stand a chance in hell of getting this ball before I head it into the goal. Yes! Let's go! Losers! 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 You couldn't even defend me! Yes! Ha ha! I scored! I scored! You losers suck at soccer so hard! Ha! Even my grandmother could beat you guys, and she's dead! One! Zero! Let's keep the train going, boys! Now that we have pissed on you once, we shall give you the ball. But we are still going to piss on you. All right, let's go, boys. I'm gonna dribble it down the field. Ouch. Wow, I think the ground shook after that fall. Damn it. Easy peasy. Two nil. Wow, he is simply amazing. I heard he has the highest body count in the high school. All right, guys, whatever we do, we just need to keep the ball away from Simon. That guy is on a whole nother level. Shut up, George. We can do this. We just need to cover Simon and outrun the grown-up. Here, George. Looks like Donald is open in the far corner. Maybe I can lob it over Ben, and then he can score. Ha ha ha! Too slow! Here I come, boys. I dare you to try and stop me! You assholes! I'm indestructible! You children have no chance at stopping me! Ha ha ha! Yes! I scored again! In your face, losers! 3-0! How does it feel to be a loser? Schooled by an old man! All right, guys, we gotta change the way we are playing. He's right, we need to get creative. What should we do? Let's execute play 157. Are you sure it's ready? We never tried that in a real game. It's our only chance. All right, you losers ready? Ha! Down by three goals and still has the nerve to call us losers. George! Don't worry, I'm on him! Obama. Joe. Now is your chance, Joe. Show them! Haha, <laughs> silly Joe. You know there's no way you're scoring this, right? You got this, Joe. Huh? I got it. No one could quite decipher what they were seeing. It was like he was reborn. Whatever. You still have a lot of catching up to do. You losers aren't even qualified to play against me. I grew up playing football in England. From the age I could walk, I was on the Little League's field, schooling all of the kindergartners. I was in preschool, mind you. After that, by the time I turned 10 years old, I was already playing with the middle schoolers. Even though I was a couple years younger than everyone else, they let me play because I was so good. Not only that, but they quickly made me the team captain. Football, or soccer as you call it, is an energy, a life force that flows through my entity as an Englishman. Decades and decades of selective breeding to only make the best and most able football players. Taste my English heritage. Tastes pretty bland. Donald! Take this! Yes! Take 
that asshole. All right, children, playtime is over. You must understand, we are leagues ahead of you. This game is only a game for as long as we decide it is. We are just making this amusing for the crowd, but in reality, we could have had the score be 10 to zero by now. You losers are nothing. Set me up, Simon. I got him. Ah, fuck you, Ben. Ha, take that. Son, are you going to tell me what happened to your eye? I'm fine, Dad. Just remember, son, courage is fire, and bullying is smoke. Hey, Ben. Tell me if this hurts that big brain of yours. Attention for that one, punk. What? Hey, get him, guys! Donald, eat this, assholes. Who's the fat kid now? I just ran through all of you guys. You know what? Time for me to score a goal. I've been waiting patiently. <whistles> Vlad, at your service, sir. How can we help the coolest kid in the middle school? I'm going to score a goal now. Protect your god. Out of the way! Screw you! The cool kid must not take any harm. We must protect him with everything. Damn, I had to walk all the way down here and I still had time to save that. It all happened in the blink of an eye. What? The cool kids are cheating. I thought this was a 4v4. Yeah? Well, Donald's team is cheating too. Well, if this is just a free-for-all, then I'm gonna go play with the cool kids. What? You can't do that. If they can do it, then we can do it. Well, if they are gonna play with the cool kids, then we need to go play on Donald's team. Come on, let's go! The term is called pandemonium. When a large group of people start to get angry or excited is when it can occur. After seeing new players appear, the crowd started to get increasingly frustrated and confused. It all started once one student from the crowd decided to join in on the soccer game. Then another one joined in. Then another one. Then another one. Then another one. Once the domino effect starts, there's no stopping it. It just keeps going. Until all hell breaks loose. Huh? What's happening? I can't see. Hello? 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 Well, hello there. What the hell? Who are you? <laughs> My dear boy. I am you. Huh? What are you talking about? What does that mean? Come with me. To another, to another time.
What? Where are we? Why are we in the school? I've brought you back many years ago, to a time long before the reign of Ben and Ping. Wow, this is amazing. Everything looks so peaceful. Haha, looks can be deceiving, my dear boy. Come on, let's go have a look around, shall we? Um, sure. You see, my boy, although the school seems normal at first glance, darkness lurks within. Darkness? Come, let's go to the bathroom. That's kind of weird, but sure. Uh, why are we here exactly? Come see. That's right, loser. Drink it all up. Every last drop. Hey, stop that! They can't hear you. Please, Osama, I can't take any more. I saw you talking to Amelia earlier. I thought we agreed that she was mine. I was just asking how her day was. Well, from now on, if you even look at her, this will be your punishment. <laughs> Who are these people? The one holding him down is Osama. He was nothing more than your average cool kid. Captain of the basketball team, straight A's, involved in many extracurricular activities. The works. And the other guy? Please, Osama, please! Bill was. Well, Bill was a loser. He was also obsessed with Amelia, who was the most popular girl in the middle school at the time. Please, please, please! Please just stop! I'll never talk to her again, promise! Come on, my boy. There is more to see. He wants your lunch money. Screw you, Adolf. You're not taking my lunch money today. Who are these guys? His name's Adolf. During this year, he was a foreign exchange student from Germany. He was one of the coolest kids in school. According to everyone else, at least. He says, you're a loser, and I'm more important than you. Give me your lunch money, you short little fuck. You will rue this day. I will get revenge on you one day, Adolf. And he is? Napoleon. Yes, Napoleon sure did have a short temper sometimes. You guys are assholes. I swear one day I will get revenge on you bitches. Come on, we're almost done. This one was my least favorite. All right, class, I assume you all did your homework last night. I gotta go take a smoke break before I can handle today's lesson. Get your homework and go over it with each other in the meantime. You see, boy, even back in my time, we had cool kids and we had losers. And then there was the king, the coolest kid of all. Oh, uh, hey, can I help you? Uh... Psst. Hey, he wants your homework. My homework? Look, I know today's your first day, but you have to give him whatever he wants. He's the king. What? That's crazy! What do you mean, he's the king? This school's just different, okay? He's the king. Just give him your homework and be done with it. Yeah, no thanks! I'll keep my homework. Maybe he's a king or whatever, but he's not my king! See? Look at that! What's all the fuss about? He's weird, but he seems harmless. Oh, it's you again! What is that? Paint! What the hell do you have paint for? Um, what exactly are you doing? You now bear the mark of King Joe. This means that you are condemned to do my bidding and my homework forever. Until the day I graduate. Joseph. 
He was king of the high school from freshman year to the day he graduated. Since he had a whole army of enslaved students to do his homework, he was left with a lot of free time. And he would always come down to the middle school to terrorize the students. Interesting, that sounds just like Ben and Ping. Now you see, my boy, the losers of this school have been trying for decades to end the tyranny of the kings and the cool kids. It's a rare case we are. There's no other school like it in the world. I mean, what other high school or middle school has a monarchy of kings that goes back 100 years, each king more tyrannical than the last? It's time for a change. It's time for a spark. It's time to change the course of history. It's up to you, my boy. Score this goal. Win the game. Break the curse that has been haunting the students of this school for decades. You got this, Obamna. Time to strike. Take them down. We believe in you. Take down the cool kids once and for all. All right, it's now or never. Yes, let's we go! We did it! Yes! Raino! Raino! Dowsing! They totally won! Oh, it's over! Are you serious? We won! We won! Take that, Vlad! Fuck! In just a single recess, the Cool Kids campaign for presidency was completely crushed. And so it was. A victory to end the monarchy, as prophecy foretold. And the school rejoiced! You may be asking yourself, is this it? Have the Cool Kids finally fallen? Well, we were asking ourselves that, too. Joe, a clumsy loser who wets the bed. Donald, a fat loser with a short fuse. George, weak, feeble, and pathetic. And Obamna, the giant loser who made a fool of you guys today. Know their names. Know that they are your sworn enemies. And now think about the fact that the entire school just witnessed these losers crush you. As it stands, it seems that neither of you are capable of being king of the high school after I graduate. By losing this game, you not only lost the election, but you have also led the common rabble to believe that they are equals to us. This will only lead to unrest and revolts. Sir, this is all Simon's fault. He should have saved that final shot from Obamna. Do not try and fool me, Ben. I witnessed the entire game from up here. Did you truly do everything you could do to win? Were you mean enough? Were you violent enough? Or did you show mercy? Do me a favor, Ben. Try, try not, not to, to be, be useless, useless from, from now on. on. What now? What do we do? Winning the election is a lost cause. If we cannot win the election, then we must destroy the election. Again, I can't thank you enough, Ping. You have been so helpful to me. I'm so glad you have my back. The school board is pretty mad about the soccer game riot and the food riot. If the coolest kid of the high school weren't here to defend me, I would probably get fired. The pleasure is mine. After all, the middle school presidency was my idea. Ha ha! Yeah, that's true. And it was a great idea on paper. But who would have known that it would turn into a giant school war? Exactly. Who would have known? Come on. Let's go out there and tell them that I can do this. Let's assure them that I can fix this school. But I must warn you, son, you're about to encounter the greatest challenge that the field of education has to offer. The parents. As if a food riot wasn't enough, 
Now you let a giant violent soccer game happen. My child came home with a bruise the other day. What happened? I heard that one of the faculty members was playing with the kids and knocking them over. I can't even count on my fingers how many fucking lunch breaks I have lost to clean up after Bernie's giant mess. I demand to see the curriculum that you are teaching our children. I still have to wipe my kid's ass and he's 11. Is the school gonna do anything to fix this? I think I know the root cause of all of this. Bernie is a fucking loser. He has no control over this damn school. That's it. I'm calling the cops on your ass. God save us. There's a demon in charge of our kids. It's all those damn M-rated video games. We need to ban Call of Duty and Bernie needs to be fired. Please everyone, settle down. Everything can be explained. Everything can be explained? Really? I don't want to see explaining. I want to see action and discipline on those naughty kids. Lawyers, law enforcement, legal fees, light up the fireworks. You have stained this school with your inadequacy long enough. Time to give me my fucking office back, Bernie. You suck. Sir, the school board is gathered here tonight with its associated parents because we as a dedicated board of directors and a district disapprove of the way you have been running this school. Fights have been breaking loose. Kids have been yelling and screaming in the hallways and at lunch. Kids have been throwing food and plotting revenge against one another. We even have reports of a student who attacked Ping, the district's best student. What do you have to say for yourself? Time to go home, pal. Give me my fucking kid back. Your janitor gave him detention for two years. Whoever your lame-ass kid is, he totally deserved it. My kid has been in two different riots ever since your little school president idea. Please, everyone, please. I know things have been crazy lately, but believe me, we will get this under control. Okay, and why exactly did you bring Ping with you? It's not that he isn't welcome here, for if any student would be welcome here, it would be him. But why exactly did you bring him out here today? Go on, tell them, Ping. Tell them that everything will be fine. If there is one thing that I know to be true in my life, it's this. The school is completely out of control. It has turned into a zoo. Exactly. Our kids are in danger. Lord have mercy on our kids. And one other thing is clear. Bernie is perhaps the worst principal that this school has ever seen. Every problem that the school possesses can be traced directly back to Bernie. Even he admitted it. Finally, someone who tells the truth. That's my boy. Tell him straight. Tell him that he's a fucking asshole. Ping, you said, but we, why? I'll show you why. I will show you everything. I'll show you why I came to you that day with the idea of having a school president. What, what do you mean? You see, Bernie, I knew it would all come to this. I wanted you to start the school presidency and you swallowed the idea whole. I knew that the losers would jump at the opportunity to become the school president. After that, everything else fell into place. It was my hand that plotted and schemed the food fight. It was my mouth that gave the orders that led to the violent soccer game. It was all nothing more than a distraction from my real intentions. I don't understand, why do all of this? What are your real intentions? Attention, school board and all of its devoted parents. Perhaps it is time for a change of leadership in this school. I would like the school board and all of its parents to consider me for the position of the principal. What? Huh? Why, yes, that sounds amazing. I, wait, what? I'm a senior and I'm about to graduate. I have all of my credits finished so I won't even be behind in school. I am widely known as the smartest and greatest student of all. There is no equal when it comes to my understanding of this school. Allow me to take the chair and I will gain complete control of the entire school and all of its faculty and students. It seems that the school has an infestation of losers who wish to do nothing but create panic and danger for your children. Every loser shall be secluded from the public. They shall not be allowed at special events to prevent them from hijacking any more assemblies. They shall not be allowed at lunch, where they mercilessly attacked your children with food and created panic and chaos. They shall not be allowed at recess, where they turned a simple soccer game into a war. Accept me as your leader, and I shall be the new emperor of the entire school district. All hail Emperor Ping! 
Get in there and punish those losers! Ping, the savior of our children! It seems the school board and all of its parents welcomes you with open arms. Effective immediately, Emperor Ping shall take the principal's chair and lead us to peace, law, and order. You may now step up and claim this key. It is the grand key to the school, a special key that can open any and every door in the entire district. There is only one of its kind in existence. Marvel at its beauty and take pride in knowing that it symbolizes your complete dominance of the students, teachers, faculty, and school board, all yours to lead and command. Once you claim the key, you will hereby be known as Ping, Grand Emperor of the School District. You may now take the key and claim it as your own. Just remember, no matter what happens, I will always be in charge of you. Perhaps I was wrong to take you in that day. A true cool kid would have no problem inflicting harm on those who are beneath them. Know your place beneath me. Only underneath my heel may you rise to be anything more than a pathetic loser. If you have a problem with inflicting harm on those who are beneath us, then I think you are in the wrong room. I must find a suitable heir before I graduate. Simon shows great promise in filling my shoes. What? What is he doing? Wait a second. That's Ben. He's the smartest kid in the whole school district. Would you look at that? A pathetic loser thinks he can stop me. Screw you, Ping. Your reign as the king ends here. You're right. I'm no longer the king. I am the emperor. Without the key, you are nothing. And if you want the key, you'll have to get through me. What has caused this malice in your heart? I gave you everything. Without me, you would be nothing. A loser. Getting his lunch money taken every day by Mao. Getting his head shoved into the toilet by Justin. Getting wedgies from Charlie. All I have done is traded one life of suffering for another. My life has resorted to doing everything I could just to be worthy in your eyes. You have saved me from monsters just so that you could turn me into one. I will not sit back while you proceed to take charge of my entire kingdom. Silly Ben, do you truly think you can stop me? What exactly is your plan here? My plan is to defeat you. The parents will be enraged and they will hate me. And then they will go home and tell their kids to be careful about me as they share what happened tonight. Once I take you down, I will instantly become the coolest kid in the entire school district, which means I will become the king of the high school. Finally. After years of searching, I have finally found someone worthy. Come on, we're gonna make it to round 10 this time. I need revived again. God damn it, Joe, that's the third time in three minutes. You losers are being very loud up here. Do not make me call your mothers and have you guys sent home. Screw off, Ben, we're just playing Call of Duty Zombies. Do not tell me to screw off. I am the king of the high school. You boys are nothing but Oh, hey, sweetie, what are you guys talking about? What, oh, nothing, we were just talking. Yeah, whatever, Ben. Ben, sweetie, there's someone at the door. Do you mind getting it? Sure thing, sweetie. Oh, hey there, Ben. Look what the cat dragged in. The most pathetic loser in the world who thought he could be the school president. I am king of the high school. How does it feel to be the biggest joke in the world? Everything you yeah, do and yeah, say whatever. is- Yeah, yeah, whatever. I just thought that you would like to meet my Valentine. Your Valentine? Are you serious? What living, breathing organism with the female reproductive system would go out with- 
Mom? That's right. I'm wearing my fedora. You guys don't like it? Oh well. I'm still gonna wear it. I don't care what you think. Besides, I look great in it. What are you even still doing here? You know the movie's over, right? <laughs> <laughs>